Hey friends and moms, guess what? I had the new iOS 14 update on my iPhone and I am not sure if you are an iPhone user, but if you are, it is amazing. It is so aesthetically pleasing and beautiful. So if you are an organizer, a planner, a Pinterester, you like things organized and looking cute, you're gonna love the new iOS 14. And I'm gonna show you how to get it organized. All right, so with the new iOS 14, one of the things that they are showing you are widgets. And as you can see, the widgets are big blocks that allow you to kind of shortcut to somewhere else. Or maybe it's just a bigger um, size of that app. So I'm gonna show you first how to make a widget. So you're going to go into Widget Smith, and if you have not already downloaded it, make sure you get the Widget Smith, it's right here black with a blue square. You can have the small sizes. Now there is the medium widget and then there's the large widget, which is really kind of giant. So I'm gonna show you how to make a small one. You can go to add small widget and it's gonna automatically pop one of these dates on there. You're gonna click on the small widget. You can do a time widget, time and location clock or fuzzy time, so like 25 to eight. You can also do a date widget, a custom one where you have photo, photo and album, photo date, photo day, custom text or blank, so maybe just a color. There's a health activity, so your activity bar, your step count, tide clocks, and sunrise, sunset, and a moon face. And I'm gonna show you today how to do a picture one. So if you click on photos, we're going to select the photo, and we're gonna have this cute photo here that I downloaded from Instagram. Go back to small, we wanna make sure we rename it. So this one is going to be a colorful cloud. Now, we're gonna go out of the widget Smith, and we're gonna decide where to put it. So right here on our first page, I'm gonna hold my finger down, and just like you can move your apps around, arrow in the top left-hand corner, the add plus sign, you're gonna hit plus and you can add any kind of widget here. We want a widget smith. So go all the way down to the bottom, go to the widget smith, and you're gonna click on the small widget add, and you're gonna make sure, you're gonna click on the widget smith again and find the one that you did. Oh, we're gonna go to colorful cloud. There it is. And yay, look at our cute widget smith. So now we can arrange it however we like. This widget smith is just a picture. So the medium widgets, they have different options. So the medium widgets, you can go over here, you can add a medium widget, and I'm gonna show you how we do this one. So you can start with times, locations, a fuzzy time, a clock, a date with a calendar, sometimes you like to see it on your thing, Saturday, you can make it kind of big, add a photo like we did before. I'm going to go down to a calendar. So on the left-hand side, you can see the calendar with the date, or Outlook, I like the Outlook. This is going to show me what's coming up, what fun things we have. You can change what calendars are used. You can change the font, so the words, the style of the font, um, the tint color. Here's white or pink and red, I like white. And here's where you get different colors of the background. So you have lots of different options. I chose the blue green, but you can customize it and choose any color you want. So you can customize, you can choose any color you want. I like to be able to look at my page and see which item is coming up and then I have my calendar down below. Now, let's learn something new. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to use widgets that aren't necessarily from the widget smith. So, as you can see on my first page, I've got the widget smith at the top that shows the calendar and then I have a picture and to the left I have this calendar which is kind of like a shortcut. So I'm gonna show you exactly how we we create a little widget shortcut. So I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna add it to it so you can see. We're gonna add another widget. And you can see here we have a bunch of different options. Color widgets, this is time, this one's another wallpaper, a clock, notes, a memo widget. And the memo widget and the color widget, those are ones I actually downloaded from the App Store. Um, and then down here, a smart stack. A smart stack allows you to kind of scroll through different options um, and they have different sizes there. Um, calendar, clock, colorful, files, fitness, maps. Um, news, notes, all different types of options. So we want to add our calendar. So we're gonna add the calendar. Again, you can add different sizes and it shows you what's going on. I like the small one, we're gonna add the widget. And I'm gonna bring it down here, cause that's where I like it. 
and just hit done. Simple as that. I love it because I go to calendar more than anything else. And this shows you what's going on, which is awesome because it goes into our Outlook widget, widget at the very top. Super cute. All right, we're gonna go over to the page two. I'm gonna show you how to add the podcast widget, just like our other widgets. You're gonna hold down your finger, add the plus sign, and here we go. Oh, see the podcast is right there. You could add stocks, fitness, screen times. So we're gonna add podcast, and we wanted it small. So we're gonna add that back up here and hit done. In the upper right hand corner, this was a photo I took and turned it into a quote. Here is a widget shortcut that actually goes to our photos and I've arranged different things here. One of the things I absolutely love about the iOS 14 is um, because you can lay it all out, it's like a mini scrapbook. You can coordinate colors, you can do all sorts of things. My children have shown me, my teens were showing me all the fun stuff that you can do, super cute. And what I did was I like to color coordinate with what is useful. And I'm gonna give you a tour at the end and why I put certain things together. But let me show you one more thing because the shortcuts, super fun thing to add into this widget. So again, we're gonna hold down our finger, add, we're gonna delete this one actually. We're gonna remove it. We're gonna add a plus here, and we're gonna go down to shortcuts. We're gonna add that. Here we go, we have add widget, and this one adds specific shortcuts. So we're gonna move it down here. We're going to then edit the shortcuts. So you have to actually go into shortcuts app. These are the starter shortcuts. So I'm gonna show you how to add a shortcut. So you're gonna add a plus sign here, new shortcuts, you wanna add an action, you're gonna go to apps and choose what kind of apps you wanted. I wanted to do the Twitter and tweet, and you might wanna click on it to see, oh, there it is, where it's at. Then you're gonna touch on the three dots. Add your title, hit done. Then you're gonna click on the little blue box, and you can change colors. And the glyph, which is the symbol, so it can add different symbols, whatever you like. They have all different kinds of symbols. I did the T, so I'm gonna do done, and done, and done. And it actually brought it right here. Now I have the same one for the tweet, so I'm gonna actually hold down my finger and I'm gonna delete this one um, because we don't need that shortcut. So here you can see I changed the colors to kind of fit the page layout that I actually wanted to do. Now that layout has like a purple theme, but like Pinterest was red and Twitter was blue and the web was blue. So I wanted to make it all kind of all uniform. So I added the shortcut app and we're gonna edit this widget. So we're gonna hold this down. We're gonna edit the widget and we're not gonna do all shortcuts. We wanna do starter shortcuts. And there it is, goes back to my purple and look. Look how cute it is, it is all purple. So you can totally coordinate all of your pages either to a color theme, you can do it to maybe like what you wanna do on the page or like group certain categories together like all your home stuff or um, if you teach music or like for business or maybe you know food or whatever works for you This is kind of how you coordinate it all if it's if there's some apps that don't have like colors that match I made shortcuts for them so that you can click on those and take them to the same Places you want to go without the colors that don't match all right last trick to show you is how to add a quote or a picture quote widget. So we're gonna go over to our last page. Here I have a cute quote um, from Fred Rogers with books. And this page is actually my like, my learning, my entertainment, reading, songs, all of that um, page here. So I'm gonna click on here and delete it. So I've deleted the widget. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a photo um, quote. So I downloaded the app Quote Maker super cute they have lots of good pictures lots of good colors already inside the quote maker so if you can see here this is how the quote maker shows up um, has templates you can go to quotes you can go to Halloween so you could totally make this themed per throughout their year we have like autumn Instagram story all different types of stuff so um, I went to unsplash and I wanted to do some learning so I put like books and I down and I worked on this Kimberly Farmer one with the books. Here it is. We're downloading it because um, I wanted to do learning, really inspire myself and know like this is what we're working with. So here we go. I started with there. I'm going to hit done because that's the phrase that we want to work with. And I'm going to add a quote to it. So I added text, um, hit the check mark. We're going to make it change the size. 
and bring it all in, make it a little smaller. So you can move it wherever you want. You can change the fonts so it fits kind of the style of the quote that you're working with. And we're gonna export. So photos saved, we're gonna go to our photos. Here it is. And I like to um, crop it and crop the quote maker out. Okay, there it is. It's saved as our photo. So we're gonna go over to where it's at. We are going to hold our finger down, hit the plus sign, and we're going to create, um, go to Widget Smith, and we're gonna make it big, add a Widget Smith, tap on the large, tap on the widgets again, learning large. So after we've created the Widget Smith, there it is, hit done, and now it is super cute. All right, welcome to my iPhone. Um, I'm really, really excited to share with you what I have on each page. Now, I have organized my iPhone. It literally took all day. I was sitting with my teenagers and like teaching, they were teaching me how to use the widget smith. And now I'm teaching you because honestly, there is so much to learn here and there's amazing what you can do with the new iOS 14. So make sure you go check out the widget smith, go over tips, see what you can do because there might be even more that I'm sharing you with you today. But I've shown you the, t the, shortcuts i've shown you the widgets for the photo widgets the widget smith as well as like adding like the calendar and a lot of the other apps in there there are so many awesome apps that you can just click to it and i'm going to show you each page what i have used and how to efficiently organize your ios 14 to make it more useful for you this is my home page this is going to be my um kind of everything go to work page so I wanted to go with kind of a rainbow color. That's why my Widget Smith at the top, which is my Outlook, shows my calendar of the next couple hours. You can see at the top, I am filming a video. I've got a movie for the kids going on. And then maybe I have a hot date later on tonight. So that's awesome because if you are busy like me and you're like, okay, I know I have a meeting today. Oh, the next six hours I've got planned out. Okay, this, 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 and this, which is awesome. You already know what's on the schedule. Now below it, I have my calendar. I'm gonna go into it, click on the calendar, and it automatically shows you everything that's happening. And what's great is the little purple lines to the side, those change. There's a red line there, purple again. Those will show up on your Outlook. You can see there's a purple line and then there's a blue line. And the purple line are things that I put in for like a certain type of calendar, like maybe it's a calendar for myself. And then the movie is ones that are actually pulled off of like my texting and my emails. So this is like settings that I've set with like people or communicate with other people. Um, so which is awesome because if you color coordinate your calendars, you have a calendar for your family, you have a calendar for business, you have a calendar for like extended family or trips or something, you can automatically look and go, okay, I have business, that's, that's in gray, and then like personal is pink, whatever you got going on, you can see it here. Of course, I have this just cute picture there. That's really cute. And then my um, apps that I have here are ones that I use every day. So the Airtable is something, Airtable and Trello are something for me and my employees. Um, obviously like YouTube studios where I do all that. And then here I have all of my useful things like settings, um, last pass, scanning. These are honestly all my business apps. So the first page is going to be pure, just efficiency, what I use every single day. Now my next one, which I made all purple, so cute, I absolutely love it. Um, this one is social, so podcast, um, kind of a social thing because we actually have a podcast. Um, if you haven't listened to it, go to theohanaadventure.com to listen to Rach and Jay's podcasts. It's awesome. Um, here we have a cute quote in purple and I showed you how to do that with the photo maker, I mean the quote maker. And this one says, a sweet friendship refreshes the soul. And you can change those out, make them, change them with the themes. Um, and I made it purple. And here is the actual, like this one is a widget goes straight to my photos. So I click on that, goes to my photos. Um, this is the For You album. I go down to the album and it's basically all of my photos, which is awesome because I use my photos often and this will rotate. And of course, Instagram, Polo, uh, Marco Polo, a lot of my social apps, YouTube, Pinterest, but I have shortcuts for my Pinterest here, the internet, Twitter, make a gift because I like to make gifts. They're super fun. Um, and you can see I have a whole thing for photography. Facebook actually should not be in there. It should be in the other one. But you can see I have lots of different apps and it all coordinates. So this is like social media. So Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, all of that all in one place. And I know like when I think, okay, I gotta go to my social media, it's gonna be purple. All right, the next page here is home. This one is all about home, things that are gonna be happening in my life. So 
I have a memo widget at the top, which is a memo that I've been that I keep. Um, as you click on it, you can see like my home to dos: work on history, decors for fall, organized costumes. Um, and those are my goals for the day. So that's cute. I keep it at the top and you can change the picture, the background, so it can totally be coordinated with whatever your look is going for for this page. Okay, you see I have a maps one and it takes you straight to maps. Really easy, awesome. Um, down here are my reminders. And this reminder, you can actually change out the reminder that you have on um, the shortcut widget. So the reminder is actually my recipes. So because it's all food, these are some recipes that are like go-to, um, but they could be reminders like a to-do list. It could be a shopping list, which is a great idea. Maybe it's a grocery, so you can just automatically look on the page without opening it. And of course I have a healthy stuff um, album here with like workout, food, health. Um, I have shop and eats so um, lots of stores I frequent or apps that I frequent as well as like food that I use cafe Rio uber eats um, my finance bank accounts stocks and smart home so this is all of the things I use for my smart home um, I highly suggest like our packed or circle if you have kids with internet um, anyway so as you can see this one is all home which I thought was awesome like food keeping the house safe health and safety uh, my to-do list maps so I don't get lost when I'm running errands um, super easy love it loved the look I went with like the map look using a little bit of the oranges and yellows and thus the sunflowers so organized I know that this page is all things home okay next page is learning and listening reading and entertainment and this is great because I have a big quote. I didn't have a ton of apps, so I put a big quote here and I kept them in their boxes. This is my church apps. Here's my songs and shows. So I've got Pandora, I've got IMDB, I've got Hulu. I also have a read and learning one, so lots of reading apps. And of course, games, lots of entertainment. So this page would be learning, entertainment, songs, just kind of everything in that kind of visual getting it together i love it and this quote will rotate and it'll be a timed widget so hopefully a new quote will come back on in an hour or so okay and our last page my favorite is travel now you might think like well i'm not gonna need that rachel i don't travel like you do well that's totally okay this is like dreaming so at the top there is a widget for the different time zones and you can change out what you want in there which I thought was awesome. So I put New York, New York's kind of like just fun to know the East Coast time, Paris, um, Auckland, New Zealand and Cancun, New Mexico. I mean Cancun, Mexico. So those are places that I always think about like oh we should go there um, or places I want to go like I've never been to New Zealand so I thought that was really really fun. And of course I made a widget smith so a little quote with an airplane because I thought this is travel it's got to embody all that. I went again with like the the color theme which was black and white with a little bit of that brown currency i use that every time i travel um uber surprisingly i use uber a lot maybe not different as many different countries as possible um, my translate app which is a new download from the ios 14 and of course my travel fol folder so i have different airlines i have airbnbs hotels bikes um disneyland's all over the world um all different types of apps in there so this one is truly my favorite it's kind of something that I kind of dream about so you can see all the different pages we have again first page is my like business go to everything efficiency purple page is social media all things social friends um, next page third page is my home so recipes to do lists, keeping healthy exercising finance smart home all of that is needed and then of course, the fourth page is the learning and education shows entertainment, really fun. And then travel is the last page, but I need to show you something else. If you swipe left, where is your normal search bar? You can organize this too. Look how awesome this is. So excited. I'm gonna show you all about this. All right, the search bar has never been able to be organized. I think it's fantastic that you can actually do organizing for this. So I have this one which shows me the batteries on my phone, batteries on my watch. Um, this is also my um, screen time, which is a good reminder for myself how much I've been on my screen. So I like to actually see that. Scroll down a little bit. This is news. I don't read news all the time, but it's good to see that it's there. And if I like, have a couple seconds, I'll read it. And at the very bottom, you can actually customize this section. Um, and you can customize more in here. I just, this is what I've organized in here. Isn't that amazing? I've never seen anything like that where you can organize the search section of your phone. 
really awesome. iPhone has so many wonderful things that will help you with the new iOS 14. If you haven't updated it, um, go ahead and update. I'm sure there's some glitches. I, I ran into a glitch on shortcuts where it wasn't allowing the shortcut to actually connect. I wanted to do a shortcut for Instagram and Facebook and it wasn't allowing me to add a shortcut. So there are a few little um, hiccups here or there, um, but I'm sure with another update, it's gonna be fantastic. But honestly, if you haven't updated to the iOS 14, it is awesome. I absolutely love it and Honestly, it's going to make me as a mom, as a parent, as a businesswoman, um, as a homeschooler, just totally more efficient. So download it. I hope you guys like this. If you have questions, definitely comment down below and my limited knowledge will hopefully interact with you and be able to help you with any questions you did have. Um, also, don't forget to check out The Now Mom on TheOhanaVenture.com. We've got lots of awesome blog posts there. We can show you some fun new hacks over there as well. I hope you enjoy these fun videos from me. And comment to let me know um, other mom parenting tips, homeschool, whatever videos you'd like to know. All right, thanks for hanging out. Bye, everybody.